Welcome to this week's update for pregnant women and their families in Australia and New Zealand at the time of this COVID-19 pandemic. I will update you on two issues. First, the latest information of the effects of coronavirus on pregnancy. Second, a brief lesson on the meaning of all the new words that you may now find yourself using. Over the last few weeks, the world's experience with COVID-19 infection and pregnancy has remained relatively unchanged. In fact, the most noticeable issue is the relative lack of new scientific publications from across the world. There is no shortage of information on the effects of this virus in people who are not pregnant, especially the risks in people who are older, overweight, or have high blood pressure or diabetes. The relative lack of new information on pregnancy may be a very good sign. It probably reflects the fact that pregnant women, wherever they are, have been very good at maintaining their personal space and avoiding exposure to people with the infection. So the information is unchanged and reassuring. Pregnancy does not appear to increase the chance of serious illness any more than is the case for the remainder of the population and infection with COVID-19 does not heighten the risk of any of the major complications of pregnancy, such as miscarriage or preterm labour. Second, I would like to remind you of the exact meaning of some of the words that you now find yourself using. What is the difference between a virus and a bacteria? A virus is a very small agent that is too small to see down a regular light microscope and is only able to multiply within living cells of a host. It cannot live on its own. It is a parasite. Bacteria are single cell organisms and most are large enough to see down a regular microscope. They are present throughout our world. Many are our friends. Some can cause us harm. They can be killed by antibiotics. Antibiotics cannot kill viruses but we do have antiviral medications that will kill some viruses, such as the ones that cause HIV and AIDS. We do not yet have an effective antiviral agent that will kill COVID-19. The first coronavirus was identified and described in 1965. It had been found in, in an English schoolboy who appeared to have a common cold. These viruses are round in shape. Most other viruses have spiky projections from their outer surface, but these viruses have projections that are shaped like petals. This gives the appearance of a king's or queen's crown. The Latin word for crown is corona, and hence the name coronavirus. Coronaviruses typically live in animals, but some find their ways into humans. The pandemic we are currently experiencing is caused by COVID-19. Its name comes from CO for Corona, VI for virus, and D for disease, hence coronavirus disease or COVID. This virus was first identified last year in 2019, and hence the number 19, COVID-19. This ends this week's update. I'll be back next Friday when I'll provide any new information on COVID and pregnancy that may have appeared. And I also plan to give you some important information on why this particular virus has been so more dangerous than the other viruses that have come our way in recent decades. Until then, don't let your guard down, maintain your social distances, keep washing your hands and stay well. Thank you.